In a career that has spanned more than 35 years, Dr. Samoth McHale's influence in science and technology education will surely be a legacy that touches generations to come. Literally thousands of students in more than 20 countries throughout the world have already felt the impact of his teaching and of his work in the development of education models in the field of science and technology. Sam McHale's interest in science and technology was fostered by his father in their native Egypt. As sons of a mining engineer, both Sam and his brother Nabih would both eventually follow in their father's footsteps and pursue careers in engineering. It was during his youth that Sam formed a lifelong interest in sports and athletics, including running, water polo, and scuba diving. In his homeland, he began a life of learning, earning his science BA in electrical engineering at Cairo University in 1963. Soon after, the economic and social changes brought about by the war between Egypt and Israel began having a dramatic personal impact upon his family. His father lost his mine in the Sinai Desert and opened a deli to support his family. It was at this time that his father's sight began to rapidly deteriorate. And in 1965, Sam, his wife Christiane, and their four-month-old daughter emigrated to Canada in the hopes of finding new opportunities for themselves and for their family. My first impression of Canada was very positive, very favorable. People were very nice. Everywhere we went, they were helpful. Sam began working with the Bell Telephone Company of Canada as a transmission engineer, but he soon yearned for greater challenges and decided to continue his education and began studying towards his master's degree at the University of Toronto. In 1968, he earned his master's of science in electrical engineering, but even before he completed his master's, Sam's teaching career was underway. He accepted a part-time position at what was then Ryerson Polytechnical Institute. It was the beginning of a relationship with Ryerson that continues to this day. The success of his many students is one measure of his influence in the area of science and technology, and Sam takes great pride in this legacy. Uh, increasingly in the past couple of years, I've met people who have graduated, who were my students, who had a career in industry, and government, and then and then um, retired. So you reach that point in your life when you see your previous uh, students having had a career and then retired. It uh, gives you a sense of accomplishment, but also tells you that you're getting really old. Sam's influence, however, is not limited to his students at Ryerson. His expertise in the electrical and computer engineering field led to his involvement in more than 20 different international projects. Uh, Dr. Mikhail has been a long-serving member of this department and Ryerson, and his contribution is certainly goes well beyond of what a typical faculty member does, uh, in the sense that he worked in administrative capacity both within the department as an assistant chair for a number of years and he has been also the director of Ryerson International, which has been the arm, the organizational arm of Ryerson, in charge of establishing links with other countries, promoting educational programs. For example, um, we formed a consortia of, a consortium of um, universities, community colleges, private sector enterprises, and became the implementing agency for a project of cooperation between Canada and Brazil for a period of five years in which we helped establish advanced technology centers in Brazil. Following that, we formed another consortia, consortium of institutions to help Brazilian institutions improve the environmental sustainability in, um, in uh, Brazilian industry. His interest in international educational projects in engineering and computer sciences led Sam to pursue his doctorate in comparative higher education at the University of Toronto. But it became apparent that my knowledge as an engineering professor and a technology uh, expert was not enough, that I needed to study education systems planning and particularly uh, study 
the economics of education so that I could give better advice on the relevant merits of each strategy and analyze the economic foundations. As a management consultant, Sam also worked with Brazil's Zerviso Nacional de Aprendizagem Industria, or CENE, in the development of a management system for their national projects. His efforts earned him the CENE Special Merit Award. With the World Bank and numerous foreign governments, he acted as the primary consultant to a variety of different projects, providing technical expertise, advice, and services in the design, development, supervision, and evaluation for projects in science, technology, and engineering education. I have, uh, since 1985 or so, embarked on a change in my career, which involved uh, working as a consultant for the government of Canada and for international organizations like the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank, as well as, as also foreign governments. I've worked as a consultant for the Swedish government and for uh, governments in developing countries like uh, the Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, uh, Egypt. One of his most notable achievements was a project to revamp applied science and engineering education in 17 colleges of engineering in all Egyptian universities. He has played a leading role in the establishment of new technical teacher colleges, and in particular, in the design of a curricula of 10 key disciplines in these colleges. As a result of this significant contribution, in 1995, the Egyptian Ministry of Higher Education presented Sam Rakeel with the Mohi Merit Award at the opening of the Benai Souf Industrial Education Colleges, one of the institutions established under the project. He has been involved in numerous projects on behalf of the Canadian International Development Bank, providing his expertise in planning educational and training systems. Although his accomplishments in engineering and computer sciences education have been many, Sam is looking forward to continuing his international consulting work for many years to come. His passion for teaching and his experience as an immigrant to Canada has inspired him to work with Skills for Change, mentoring new Canadians. When he is not teaching, consulting, or mentoring, Sam indulges in his love of athletics, theater, film, and cooking. And as always, his family is at the core of his life. I hope to continue to be active in this field for the remainder of my healthy years. But my hope, of course, is for my family and my extended family. Uh, my first wife passed away about six years ago, and I have since remarried. So uh, I now have a new family, and I have uh, young stepchildren. They are teenagers, and they're still pursuing their careers, and I hope that they will be successful and, and uh, will uh, pursue careers that suit their own particular talents and needs. No doubt, Dr. Sam McHale's hopes will become reality. In both his personal life and in his remarkable career as an educator and consultant in the field of engineering and computer sciences, his influence will be reflected in the skills and contributions of generations of the world.